So this is the first type of circle that we're going to look at. It circles with their center on the origin. So here we have the orange circle here. We have our Y and our X axis. Orange circle, its center there, right there is on zero, zero at the origin. And you can see the radius there, the orange line or. So obviously for a circle, the radius is the same the whole way around. Um, and basically it takes the form X squared plus Y squared is equal to or squared, where X and Y are just X and Y. So X and Y are just going to be x and y and where or is going to be a number yeah so we'll see an example of that later uh, and that number is going to be the radius all right so i guess we'll look at an example to really kind of see what we mean by this so if we look at this circle here for example we have i'll just write one we have a circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 100 so they can ask us where is the center of the circle so we say where is the center and then what is the radius could be the second thing you're going to ask so what is the radius yeah so because it's in this form here x squared plus y squared is equal to something else squared we know that it's a circle with its center at the origin so that's what i'm going to say i'm going to say where is the center so we'll say at origin i zero zero and then what is its radius so we know that or squared is equal to 100 because it's in that form x squared plus y squared is equal to or squared we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 100 that means the radius is 10 units long so that's kind of what a circle like that means or that's what an equation like that means it stands for a circle that is the center of the origin and a radius of 10. so now we're going to look at trying to find the equation of one of these circles given some information so just quickly we'll say um generally defined so generally no, you are not generally say to find the equation of a circle. So if you we want to find the equation of any circle, equation of circle, we need we need the center. So the center of the circle and the radius length as well and the radius. So they're the two points of information you're generally going to be looking for if you want to find the equation of a circle. Um, but anyway, we'll look at this example here. I'll write it in quickly. So in this example here, we have a circle that has a center at 0, 0, and it also goes through the point 3 and minus 4. So they want us to find the radius and the equation of the circle. So we know since it has a cent uh, the center at the origin, that it's going to take the form of x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, all right? Uh, and also just have a look at this here. So we're actually gonna draw a little sketch out and just bear that in mind because it's gonna help us to solve this one here. So I'm just gonna quickly draw two lines. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw our circle here in green. So apologies for the state of the circle. And also I will mark it in red here, the point it goes through. So as it goes through three and minus four, which is gonna be down here, yeah? So if we draw a line from the center here to that point there, okay, so this is three minus four. That's, that line there is gonna be the length of the radius. So how do we get that? If you look at this here, we have a small right angle triangle, okay? So this side here is gonna be of length three and this one is gonna be of length four because it's three out on the x-axis and it's four down on the y-axis. So we have three and four. So if we wanna find the radius, or is going to be, so or squared is going to be three squared plus four squared, so this is Pythagoras. Or squared is going to be nine plus 16. Or squared is then going to be 25. We have or the radius is equal to five, just the square root of 25. So that's part A done. So as always, um, if you want to find the radius length, you can just look at the center point and then one other point, uh, and you can do a little Pythagoras triangle there. Also then we need to find the equation of the circle. So that's handy enough now that we have the radius all we need to do is stick it into the form x squared plus y squared is equal to or squared so the equation is going to be x squared plus y squared is equal to five squared or if we want to put it as x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. both of those are fine as an answer 
uh, you can leave it as five squared if you want so it's easier to see what the radius is so yeah that's just a quick intro to these types of circles they're the easiest type they do it does get a little bit harder and uh, we look at circles that don't have centers at the origin but that's just a brief intro um to a circle of the form x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared so hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe we'll see you next time where we're going to look at circles that have a center at hk so they're a little bit harder see you then